Where we're heading will amount to our rendition of Guys Gone Wild. It's not quite like the female version. We have no intention of mentally maiming our audience. With Edgar, the go-to guy at Classic Industries riding shotgun, we're about to go into full-on hunter-gatherer mode. Lady viewers, take note. When male gearheads go into a parts frenzy, shop till you drop gets literal. Uh, I'm a showroom assistant manager. I help out customers that come across, uh, all the retail customers that come across over the counter and uh, just help them out and make sure they get what they need. Wow, this is like the classic industry's cafe. You got vending machines and snack machines and magazines sure everywhere. Uh, so what are we gonna do here? This is Well, let's get started here. We got the uh, classic industry's catalogs here. Okay, here's the Chevrolet and pickup truck. The number of parts available for vintage Chevy pickups makes this catalog bigger than some phone books. Well, here he is, Dan. Hey, how are you? Got me a list? Uh, well, kind of. Um, I, I don't know. We need everything. Luckily, I have Edgar, who uh, is my one of my showroom technicians, who went ahead and uh, a little bit ahead of time and put together the list that we needed to pull the products. Oh, the spelling count on these things? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's mine. Everything. Yes. Okay, uh, Edgar, can you get that part? <laughs> Ah, uh, back again. How are you? Good, Dan. How you doing? Good. Oh, man. This is your pulling team. Okay. You're good to go. That's the parts list. Fill the basket. For me? Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's okay. let's go fill our boots. Right on. <laughs> All right, Dan. Here's our list. Okay. And uh, I'm going to give you guys each one a list right here. Mm -hmm. And uh, it has the locations here, and all the aisle numbers are posted on all these aisles. So let's get all this stuff pulled and ready to go. Yeah. 1456. We have a list of parts that we pull from our invoice, and in that list of parts has the location number, and that's the most challenging part, is that trying to figure out with this 10-digit code where that part is in this warehouse of you know, 90,000 parts. Baby. This particular warehouse is 80,000 square feet. I carry about 125,000 SKUs. Uh, I have about 150 employees that um, take care of this warehouse for me. With 150 employees wandering around, you'd think someone could point me toward the door handle section. At this point, a map might be better than a parts list. Little exhaust. The way the computer system here works is it basically starts from one end to the other, and it starts from the biggest parts to the smallest parts. So some of the bigger parts we pulled were the bed sides, uh, the fenders, some of the internal structures, the, the radiator supports, uh, the bed wood, the tailgate, and then it goes progressively down to the smaller, lighter parts. Uh, and we basically just picked up everything we needed for the, pro for the truck. We pulled three pallets, approximately 150, 200 boxes, probably a couple thousand parts. We uh, simply boxed up the parts, uh, put them on a pallet, and they're ready to ship over to the tech center, uh, where I know that uh, my guys Edgar and Jason are both just ready to get building on this truck, and we're all looking forward to getting it done. I'd say this is our first good indicator that we're about ready to build ourselves a truck. 